Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to go through how to check the firmware version of your IPD as well as going through the different options and how to update the firmware. When you have your IPDs connected to the network, you can use IntelliDrive Controller to check what firmware version it has and see if the firmware is up to date. Go into the amplifier you want to check, then press help and about, then look for this one, firmware version. In this case it says 1.1.9 and then update available. You can see that interface version says 2.7.0 and then OK. We want the same OK to be up here. And if it says OK up there, you don't need to look further, you know that you have the latest firmware. So, we need to update firmware. There are different ways of doing that. One is to actually go to global view, then click tools and then firmware update all units. This one is good because it checks for all the IPDs on the network and checks the firmware of those and update those that has an old one. It is also an automatic check afterwards that everything has been going through correctly, but this is also more time consuming. Another way is to click the enable update one. You can see symbols coming up here and if these symbols are orange, you can press them and you can have the unit updated. If it's grey, then the unit is already updated to the latest firmware. But well, let me press this one here and click OK. Intel Drive Controller now prepares for the firmware update. It is now uploading the firmware to the unit. The firmware update is now finished. And as you can see, the symbol is now grey and you can't click on it. If I go into that unit now and click for help and about, you can see that the firmware version is 1.2.6 and that you have an OK. Then you know that the firmware is to the latest state. Another way of updating firmware is to be in here in the mixer panel of the amplifier, click hardware and then firmware update. This update also asks you if you want to save a backup of the presets that you have on the unit. In this case I don't, so I click no. If I click no I get a warning that it says all presets will be lost, then I click OK. Please note that I updated the same unit that I already did an update to. So this means that in hardware inside the unit you can always update your firmware, no matter if it's an old or new firmware. This can be a good way of making sure that your IPD is really set back to factory default, if in any doubt. Now going back to updating all units at the same time. Click tools, then firmware update all units, then click OK. A upload process will now start and this process can be a bit time consuming but it's also a very safe way of updating the firmware. Of course, under all conditions when updating firmware, please make sure that your network connection is very stable. Always use a cable. Do not use wireless in case some packages get lost. We now get a feedback saying that firmware is up to date on six units and we are now good to go. Failed to update zero units. We can now check with the enable update function and we can now see that all units are updated. The enable update functionality can be good to use if you have many IPDs and you're uncertain if any one of them are of older firmware. This will give you a very good overview of that.